Have you ever held in a fart for an ungodly amount of time and then when releasing it, a smile comes to your face and a wave of relief washes over you? That pretty much uh, explains my experience with Uncut Gems. A movie that's so stressful, when it's over, I just kind of thought about my life and my simple problems and realized it's not that bad. There's two reasons when I stop a movie, I immediately turn on a camera and start talking about it. It's either because it was so terrible or so good that I just had to talk about it right then and there. And in this case, of course, it's really good. I had extremely high expectations walking into it and left the experience without any complaints. If you're familiar with the Safdie brothers, then you've probably seen Good Time. And Uncut Gems has that very same sort of narrative and vibe no room to breathe, high anxiety, high tension. It's what the movie's all about. It's it's a craft that I think these guys have handled the best. In the middle of something here, we're in the middle on, of the exam. Up. Hey, 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 Nick, Nick. About Nick. The, stuff and the, the pan and the wait, chicken. Wait, 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 please. Nick. How would you like it if I made you cry? How would you like that? No, I would not. But on, could, get up. But they told me I had... You know what else I heard? I heard you free surf at your fucking swimming pool. I, you know how that makes me feel? Never free you think surf life is more anything. Important than my I don't know who said that. Give me the key. Loved the fact that Adam Sandler was cast in this film, especially with Robert Pattinson being so good in good time. I knew that they were able to draw a lot of emotion out of their lead actors and really put them through hell, and that's exactly what I just witnessed Adam Sandler going through. Which, let's be real, he transforms into his character Howard, who is a drury dealing gambling addict. Just, I'm so pissed off at this guy right now. I'm not gonna get into it, because this is a no spoilers video, but fuck you, Howard! Now, without spoiling anything, Uncut Gems is really about a man who is just in love and captured and totally, completely motivated by his love for gems, which is something J.R. Token actually talks about in The Hobbit. He calls it dragon sickness, which is when a character is just completely insane and longing for riches and gold. And it's something that is very prevalent from the moment Uncut Gems opens, even in its intro, in the title sequence. It's, it's a theme that is already planted in the film, so definitely not a spoiler. And the movie is just a series of actions of this crazy person trying to dig himself out of a hole by making more bad decisions. And it's cringeworthy, but not in an awkward way, just in one of those ways that hurts to watch because you know there's no happy ending. This is a movie about how bad the American dream can go. And Howard is a successful man. Right? It's 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 aware that you're aware that he's successful, but at this point he's going down a dark path and, and it's gonna lead to some bad things. And Adam Sandler, his performance captures all of those in this wonderful, vulnerable, vivid, relatable light and I understand everyone who's who said Adam Sandler for Best Actor this year. He definitely is up there with Adam Driver and Robert De Niro, Joaquin Phoenix. And the performance is definitely the highlight of the film, so if Adam Sandler is why you're watching it, it's definitely a good reason. I mean, it's definitely, you know, a good time to be introduced to these film directors, the Safdie brothers, because they are up there. Um, as far as people working with A24, they're one of the ones I definitely am looking out for. I uh, plan to watch every movie they release after this. As far as supporting cast goes, you'd actually be surprised by some of the names. Um, Mr. Kevin Garnett is playing Kevin Garnett. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting situation in the movie and he's a prevalent character I, know I thought he might have been in one or two scenes but he floats around the whole movie um lakeith stanfield as an actor i just adore from back in the day in short term 12 uh he made me cry and in atlanta he's hilarious and just about everything he's done from sorry to bother you to um black Klansman. I'm sorry, he's, I don't think he's in Black Klansman. I'm, uh, uh, no, Knives Out, he was great. And in this movie, he is awesome. The Weeknd is playing The Weeknd. All right, there, there's this very real, visceral.
It makes the tension and it makes the the stakes, which are high, feel so much more at home because this world that the movie is breathing is one that we've seen or can relate to in some way. And the cinematography aids in that in that you know that manipulation of the mind, right? The the way they direct their films. At times, there's a lot of cuts, you know, uh, which makes people nervous, right? And then there's really long takes that make people even more nervous because you're you're really trapped in a shot when it's over about 30 seconds. There's this trick that happens in the mind where, for me at least, I notice that it's a long shot and there's typically something that's going to happen in this long shot that the director does not want you to miss and that's why he spent so much time meditating on that shot. Um, so the tension is crazy high. What do you mean? Crazy, you got it. I don't want to. Hey, what the fuck are you it's talking about? about? You said on the phone you had it. Uh, hey, 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 change the subject, man. I don't even want that shit. Not everyone is going to love this movie. Let's be real, right? This, this type of experience takes a toll on its viewer. And a weirdo like me who, who just loves filmmaking, of course I'm going to eat it up because it made me feel a lot of ways in, in a short period of time. But some people are just are just <laughs> gonna be negative when when they can breathe in a movie and they they feel like they're underwater, um, which reminds me of this one scene with a fish. The score to the Safdie brothers' films is probably the oddest thing about them. Um, it definitely makes sense that the weekend was in this movie because his sound is is a is a sound that the movie plays with. Right off the bat, it's this house synth electric music that just starts pumping and throbbing and it really becomes the pulse of the film right as soon as it, the movie starts there's tension from what you're hearing and that leads into the experience of the movie and the whole time it just has this very contrasting electric music this this synth wave vibe that continues and i think it could be distracting for some people as a fan of that genre, I love it. I personally do. It's a decision I am so down for. But I've seen a couple people uh, take points off, I guess you could say, because of that. I literally just watched this film, so I am not giving it a rating tonight. I need a couple days to ponder and think about the movie. I really just wanted to sit down and talk about it with you guys and kind of just formulate these thoughts. But I'm super happy with it. it it's an entertaining very overwhelming experience that um, I'm not likely to forget. And in 2019's ridiculous film lineup, it it stands tall. And that says a lot for these guys, you know, with, with greats like Tarantino and Scorsese putting out movies this year. I think the ones that have stood with me most at this point, Parasite, of course, Marriage Story, and now Uncut Gems are all up there as far as my favorites. And I know I'm giving this movie a lot of praise having just seen it, but it, it excited me. You know, I was I was super ready for an Adam Sandler movie, a serious Adam Sandler role, and it is everything. It's everything that I wanted from him. And jeez, he's so good. He's so good. Oh man, I really hope he works with these guys again. Um, definitely a world that he fits right into. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and please share. I'll see you next Sunday.